Yeah, and so the graphic project, um, again, is, is thinking about Nietzsche in a visual way. So what kind of visuals would you use with Nietzsche, right? So graphic thinking require, is, uh, is, is in addition to textual thinking, right? So usually our critical thinking is done in a textual way through the book, through writing. Uh, but, uh, you know, how do you do it through, in a graphic way through visual images? So you have to think about you know, what kind of images you're going to use and how the images uh, are juxtaposed because that's what's so great about uh, graphic thinking, right? Instead of moving pictures, it's juxtaposed uh, still um, pictures which create an illusion of movement, right? And have gaps in between them, lacuna, bleeds, uh, gutters, all that kind of fun stuff. So how would you put that together in a way that would be... Uh, in a narrative way and also in an intellectual way, which would do justice to to Nietzsche's thinking, okay, as well as your own interpretation of Nietzsche. So in this proposal, you would be, you know, you would have to suggest, you have to indicate, you know, how are you going to do this, right? So you can just say, I'm going to use a graphic uh, or a, uh, a cart, uh, excuse me, a comic maker. Uh, maybe do some quick investigations of comic makers online and, you know, pick out a style that you would use. And then you would, uh, you know, talk about the problems, uh, you know, that you would have, you know, doing this and how you would overcome those problems and what you would specifically look at. Reimagine Nietzsche's text as a cinematic poster. So this was done as an example with the syllabus poster at the beginning of uh, the semester last week. Uh, so what kind of image would you use? Would it be, uh, you know, something from, you know, Google images, an everyday image from the Internet? Uh, or would it be something that would be constructed or created, uh, drawn? Um, and then how would you use the quotations? How would you use Nietzsche's text, right? So in the way we do IH cinematic posters, you can only use uh, the text to... Uh, in, in the movie poster type dimension. So how would you do that? What would be the effect of the image and the text working together within one still image? You would have to, again, you'd have to make an argument for it. With all these ideas, you have to make an argument for it. How this will work. Why this will work better than a critical essay. Better than a test, right? Uh, and how you will overcome what most people would consider uh, the pitfalls of uh, some of these uh, media. Okay, so you have to, you know, in, in your sum, in your proposal, you have to deal with that as well as doing the regular things that a proposal does.